Hi and welcome to this short video tutorial. In this video I just want to show you some very basics on saving projects and on troubleshooting in case you forgot to uh, create your copy bundle file and need to kind of reconstruct your project again. So I have an empty project open on my screen and I just add some documents and have them in my document folders and this is just for PDF files. <coughs> so let me just um, apply a few test codes here. <coughs> Yeah, it's a PDF, so you can, um, of course, also code graphics within it. So, so just um, we leave it at that. Just um, three test codes. So now, if I'm saving my project and I don't determine the location where I want it to be stored. What you see on screen right now is the default location. This is where Atlas stores project projects if you do not um, specify a location. I always recommend that you do store the file in a folder of your choice and don't let Atlas choose the folder because you probably don't remember that's under document scientific software Atlas and a subfolder called text bank. Yeah normally people don't know where their project is I know um, because then uh, there's a strong likelihood that the um, the file is in this text bank folder. So do yourself a favor choose the location where you want your project file to be stored so that you sure that you can find it again. Now save this project in the um, default folder and I'm just um, calling it uh, sample project and there it is now. So now I'm pausing this video for a bit and I destroy my project on purpose. Um, and can't kind of forget to, to do a copy bundle file and um, then I'm ending up this a project file that doesn't that can't load documents. So um, I will do this now but off camera and I see you later. So I'm back now and um, I deleted now the files from the library. So that means if I now try to load the documents here, they won't. Yeah, if I only have the AU file and the documents are no longer in the library, when they show up here grey and I cannot load them anymore. So now I didn't do a copy bundle file. So what's next? So we can rescue this project. Um, so it's not the end of the story. Um, these things happen if people go to a different computer and only take their HU file, don't take a copy bundle file. Or they had this question, they have never done a copy bundle file and um, then they're only left with the HU file they still have somewhere. Or they installed a new Windows version and then the old, old files were not properly reconstructed, the library was overwritten, whatever, um, then they left without the documents. Or sometimes only for whatever reason, cannot always know that, um, one or two of the documents disappear over a period of time. Um, normally this should not happen, but you never know with computers. So how can we now rescue the situation? So what I am actually doing now, well, here I have my text bank folder where my project file is located. So what you can hear, what you can see here, there's a number of 
project there are stored in this default um, um, location and as I have my sample project open currently there is a lock file lock like lock like normally the CK yeah if you lock your door this actually pretends Atlas, uh, prevents Atlas from opening the same issue um, again so if I close the project now then you see the log file has disappeared um, for the project it is <clears throat> it is sometimes still in the folder if the project is closed if you left atlas without um, uh, if you left your computer without uh, closing down your computer without uh, properly closing atlas or if your um, computer crashed um, then sometimes if if that happens then and you open your project it will ask you um, we tell you this project is used by a different user for two days three hours five seconds and the computers are very precise with that and whether you want to open it in read-only mode and then you go into recycle because then you open it in read-only mode and save it again under a different name and if you have another log file hanging there then you know this is constantly have to save as um, under a different name so these log files can be safely deleted nothing wrong about that so here i do actually have one um, from another project that is open I know uh, this project is not open somewhere so I can just safely uh, delete that file so in order to rescue our project now we need the original source files again and we need the HU file so now I actually copy this sample project away from here so it's closed the project so I can't do that if it's open so I cut it from this folder go now into my atlas um, well let's do a new folder now and call it um, analysis for sample project so I can kind of store uh, everything in this folder that is related to my project, related to my Atlas analysis, also later if I export uh, some Excel tables and so on or some other um, rich text reports, I can all have them here in my folder and I know where this folder is. So now what we need to do, we need to also copy the documents. So these are the four documents that I um, they couldn't, that was off the screen so I copied them now and um, and paste them into the folder so if you for whatever reason cannot load any of your documents you put the HU file plus the documents in the same folder this is these are not PDF files so I cannot modify the the, the files or you know this either within atlas nor, nor somewhere else if you have word files and if you have modified them in word or if you have been in edit mode before in atlas then this is not possible then you have to write to the support send your documents or at least the HU file and then one of the developers will fix it yeah this rescue operation only works if um, the files have not been modified so now I open the project again to so open the document manager now and double click on the document then Atlas is realizing okay uh, just read the text now a primary document has no matching data source in the library because I got rid of it on purpose however a file was found in the HU folder matching the missing source and then it asked me should Atlas use that file instead and update, update the library accordingly and then please confirm so now Atlas copies the document again and you see in the background it is loaded um, and puts it in the library where it belongs and then we do that for the next file and we do that for the next file and we do that for the fourth file if you have 60 files in it you have to do it for every file yeah, so all documents can be loaded again. Yeah, they're all black here as well. Yeah, so here also, yeah, the document is inside. And now we save the project. And we now 
better save a copy bundle file. Yeah, so now the four documents can be packed because Atlas has access to the documents. Yeah, it's also, if, you, if I always recommend, do a copy bundle file after every work session. Because sometimes it's very difficult to, 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 to guess what has happened if you realize after two or three months you lost access to two or three documents. So if you do that regularly, if that screen opens, you have a quick check all documents will be bundled that you know the issue still has access to the documents. You click on create bundle um, and then now let's just put, I put it now um, in my Dropbox. Um, here I have a folder for my Atlas projects and now the copy bundle file can go into the Dropbox. Now it's on the server and it's also synchronized. Um, uh, this is my PC, so I have it at two location or put it um, on an external drive or on a university server somewhere where you think it is safe even if there's something going wrong with your computer, the laptop might be stolen, my hard disk might fail. Well, my copy bundle file now is on the Dropbox. If something like that happens or in the Dropbox, I can just unpack the copy bundle file if you're not sure how to do this, there's also a video tutorial on that um, on the official Atlas uh, YouTube channel. And then please check out that and then you're on the safe side. Bye for now.